What will you change in 2022? Let's talk about New Year's resolutions. It's that time, right? Everybody is setting New Year's resolutions. You know, in fact, I don't usually set New Year's resolutions. What I do, I set New Year's goals because I'm gonna be different than everybody else. I don't wanna set resolutions because I know they fail. I'm gonna set goals because they're gonna last but they don't. <laughs> so many times I say, I'm going to lose weight. I really need to lose just five or 10 pounds and I'll write them down. And I start off really well for a week or two. And then I just, they flame out. And it doesn't matter when you set a, a goal or, or, or want to do a habit. But right now we're talking about new year's resolutions. So to make this a little bit fun in today's two minute video, I want to ask you, you know, what's your resolution? You know, you could say like my New Year's resolution is, is to help all my friends gain 10 pounds so that I look skinnier. Now that would actually work. That'd be easier than trying to lose it yourself. Or what about this? I was going to quit all of my bad habits for 2022, but then I remembered nobody likes a quitter, right? It makes sense. In fact, in a New York Post poll um, just from 2020, it showed that a New Year's resolution on average, a poll of 2,000 Americans on average lasted only 32 days. And even 68% of those polled didn't even last that long. So why do we try? Well, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get over this. And, and in two minutes, or two to three minutes, this is gonna be fast. So I'm gonna send you a link to a page that relates to the book, Atomic Habits from James Clear, an incredible book I've read a couple of times. And here he gives the four stages of habits and they're called Q, Craving, uh, Response, and Reward. Now with those, there's a greater explanation on this link to a summary page, but I strongly recommend you read the book. But he also asks on here, how do you want to change your behavior? So he says, well, you need to ask yourself, how can I make it obvious? How can I make it attractive? How can I make it easy? How can I make it satisfying? So we need to look at those steps if we really want to make a habit and write them down. Or if you want to break a habit, you do this, you do the opposite. How do I make it um, invisible? How do I make it unattractive? How do I make it difficult? Or how do I make it unsatisfying? So there's different things you can do to help yourself achieve goals that don't waste away or fade away. And to, in my life as a Christian, it's so much easier to ask God who knows me and loves me to ask for his help, the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside of me to help me. And I, I strongly encourage you to ask God to help you through these. And I love what Proverbs 21.5, the wisdom of Proverbs tells us this. He goes, the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Now that's talking about riches, but it talks about planning things, writing things down. And that's what we need to do even when we ask for God for help, which I strongly suggest that's the way to start. I hope you have a great 2022.